Good morning, Americans. This is your favorite alien on the morning of Saturday, July 2nd, 2022. Yep, Independence Day weekend. Uh, how many of you know what Independence Day is? I bet you maybe uh, 5% of you only know what that is. Uh, anyway, um, doing a special commentary today entitled SCOTUS for the Supreme Supreme Court of the United States, SCOTUS. Opened 1850 all over again. Okay, and let me explain why I say that. When the Supreme Court overturned Roe versus Wade, um, it brought back the 1850s. And, uh, well, kind of, Roe versus Wade, it's kind of like the old uh, fugitive state, uh, fugitive slave law back of 1850. Remember that one? The Supreme Court says, oh, well, we overturned Roe versus Wade, and now it's going to get flooded with all kinds of Supreme Court decisions, lawsuits, and everything related to overturning Roe versus Wade. And why? And it also opened the Pandora's box of civil war. Because you got states like Connecticut, which are trying to pervade states like Texas from coming in with bounty hunters to take back people who perform abortions from people from Texas uh, and take them back to be prosecuted in Texas. It's like the old fugitive slave law of 1850 where you had uh, slaves that ran whichever way they went, the Underground Railroad or however they did, but they ended up in northern states. And Connecticut is a good example because Connecticut was involved in that uh, fugitive slave law back in the 1850 and a whole bunch of cases to the Supreme Court. And the Supreme Court thought that they have settled the issue with the Dred Scott decision of 1857. Uh, yeah. Well, it's like the Supreme Court here, and I'm surprised that Justice Thomas didn't understand this when he voted and made that decision, wrote that decision that he did. He didn't have to write a decision. He could have just voted, yeah, no, well, we go from this. But you're going to be flooded with all kinds of lawsuits, cases related to Roe versus Wade because of the way you did it. You got red states and you got blue states. Just like in the 1850, you had slave states and you had free states. There's no difference. It's slave and, and uh, free states all over again. It's the 1850 of States' rights versus federal rights. Did the Supreme Court have the right to overturn it? Well, that was in their prerogative, yes, but should they have? If they would have thought this over, they would have said no, because it's going to open a Pandora's box. And states like Texas are going to have bounty hunters go into states like Connecticut to hunt for people who do abortions to prosecute them in Texas. Uh, and you're talking about two citizens of two different states. Remember, the United States never has become a federal republic. It's always been states with their rights and their laws. And the Supreme Court is supposed to be the supreme law of the land, according to Justice Kavanaugh and... Uh, uh, Justice Gorsuch, remember those guys when they were nominated there? Oh, it's a Supreme It's the uh, Court of the Land. And Justice Contangia Jackson, which would like to vote the other way on her issues. And they're forgetting about the issues of the Supreme Land, normally the United States of America here. So what are you going to create? You're going to create fugitive laws like the slave law where you're going to have bounty hunters coming into the state of Texas 
uh, from the state of Texas to the state of like, Connecticut and uh, hunting those people down to perform the abortions and taking them to Texas for prosecution. Uh, don't we have a basketball player in Russia with the same kind of problems over there right now? Uh huh. See what I mean? So, Americans, I don't understand why don't you stand up to the Supreme Court and the Democrats and Republicans and the Congress and the presidency and say, we want our nation. We are one nation under God. Indivisible and justice for all. Where has all that gone? Isn't that your pledge of allegiance to the United States flag? Or are you kicking the flag down on the ground and making it dirty? I don't know. It's up to you, Americans. But the Supreme Court has opened the Pandora's box to 1850 and to 1860 with secession. Because if this keeps on going, and there's going to be a lot of cases in the Supreme Court in the next coming year or two, and you're going to have bounty hunters that are going to be sent to pick up these guys that perform abortions in states like Connecticut and radical states like Texas. Ugh. Now I see why President uh, Biden was saying, there's a Neanderthal in Texas. Uh, yeah, there's one in Florida too. But anyway, if you guys can't think the way you guys think and look at the people and think of your citizens instead of your party and your point of view, you would be in much better shape. Good day.